break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with a review video on the new Lancome Matte Shaker Liquid Lipsticks from Lancome, which I already said. It's part of my charm. <laughs> this video is in partnership with Ulta, but before we get into the exciting facts about these liquid lipsticks, I do have to say that I'm excited to be doing a review on this product because I haven't tried anything like it. It is a liquid lipstick, but I feel almost like it's a hybrid, innovative product. I don't have anything else like this in my collection, which is why I was so eager to review them. Now, if you guys are OG pandas, you've been around for a while, you know I did a review on the classic Juicy Shakers, which I like. I always have one in my purse, in my car, in my diaper bag, which by the way, I shouldn't have to carry anymore because he's two, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> so I'm definitely a fan of the classic Juicy Shakers, but with those, I feel like they're very comfortable. They're products that you don't have to think about. It's almost like a lip care product with just a splash of color that smells really nice. These on the other hand, come on, I'll give you a minute. These on the other hand are such a unique product. So let's dive in to the nitty gritty dirty facts about the Lancome Matte Shaker Liquid Lipstick. I don't know why you guys, but I feel like just on the packaging alone, it's already like 10 times sexier than any other lip product I've seen. So I'm going to show you guys a close up of what it looks like, but in comparison to the original Juicy Shakers, you see them right there? These I feel have a little bit more of like a appeal. Now they are the same type of packaging, different color packaging, but the same type of packaging with the sponge tip applicator, which allows for only the perfect amount of product to come out. I don't have to re-dip and shake. So let's get down to the basic facts. There are seven colors in the collection, and I will go into the colors in just a minute. There are seven colors in the collection. They retail for $22 each, and they're available at Ulta stores and Ulta.com. Now, the colors are so appropriate for spring and summer. They're gonna give you that beautiful pout that just draws the perfect amount of attention when you wanna look really cute and sexy in your shorts or your like torn off denim that's like super trendy right now. Just like the original Juicy Shakers, wanna make sure that you really give these a good shake. Do you guys hear that? There are some beads in there that you want to make sure you can hear before you use this product because they will separate. You want to make sure that you combine and you homogenize the product very thoroughly well so you get a, like the perfect color pigment on your lips. They are ultra lightweight, but they're incredibly pigmented. So this is kind of one of those products where it's going to be long wearing, it's going to be hydrating and healthy for the lips because it is loaded with vitamin E. It's going to leave like a stain on your lips and it's not going to transfer. So for me that means it's perfect for a long night, it's perfect for an event, it's perfect for like a festival. I know it's festival season right now and what you want to do is you want to look cute. Let's face it, matte lips are on trend and I don't think this trend is going to go anywhere for quite a long time. The problem I have with the matte lip trend is that if it's a liquid lipstick, it tends to be drying over time and it does fade away and it kind of gives almost like uh, not the best appearance. You know, they, they, they'll flake or they'll ball up, they'll sink into the fine lines or you'll get like that rim on the inner edge of your lips. These are different because the formula itself, it's a water and oil emulsion. So it's not that moussey consistency that most liquid lipsticks are. It is a thicker liquid. If you're familiar with the original Juicy Shaker, the liquid in there is a little bit looser than this one. This one's a little bit thicker, but it also has a lot more pigment. So the beauty about this product and the unique formula is that it's going to give you a second skin-like finish but it's also gonna give you the matte lip lip trend or lip color trend and it's also gonna give you a stain. That's kind of what I look forward to with products, especially being a mom with two small kids. If I can get a lip color that's gonna stain my lips and I don't have to retouch, perfect. If it's a lip color that's matte and on trend, perfect. If it's a lip color that's in a really cute applicator, okay, that doesn't. Okay, it does. I was gonna say that doesn't impact my like in the product, but it really does. <laughs> so there is a trick when applying these guys, and I'm gonna show you guys when I applied this one. You want to unscrew the cover, right? You'll unscrew the cover and then you'll put it back on, but you won't screw it. 
You'll give it a lot of good shakes. I'm talking like 10, 15 really good shakes. And when you're done shaking it and you look on the tip of the sponge, it's going to be covered in product. Do you see how much product is on the tip? Then you're gonna go in with that sponge tip applicator and apply the lip color. There's no need to re-dip because the sponge tip gets saturated with the perfect amount of water to oil emulsion and it's going to leave your lips evenly coated. Now, if you're like Danny, <laughs> I need some color in my life. I want that like wham bam, thank you ma'am look. You can totally achieve it with these lip colors. I just did one layer. That is enough color for me considering the Emerald City look I got going on up here, right? But if you wanted more impact with your color, like say with this hot pink, you let it dry and you can layer it on. As long as you let it dry, you can do as many layers as you want. It doesn't get crusty, crumbly, or flaky, and it just increases the pigment of the color. And did I mention it's not transferable, Cochina? So let me show you guys all seven colors. I have them right here, and I'm gonna start off with the one that I'm wearing. The one that I'm wearing is called Energy Peach. For some reason, I always tend to gravitate towards any Lancome product that has peach in the name. It just it makes my heart happy. So this is just a really beautiful classic peach. Always remember with these Juicy Shaker products, Juicy Shaker and Matte Shakers, swatch them. If you swatch them, you're gonna see the true color payoff. So it's not necessarily what you see here more than what you see in the swatch. So the one that I'm wearing is 272 Energy Peach, just a classic peach. The next one that I'm going to show you is a must have. Like, believe me, just take my word on it, put it in your shopping cart, and get it at Ulta. It's 270 Beige Vintage. If you are a fan of all of those, like, mauvey brown shades, like Modern from Serenity and Scott, or Lolita from Kat Von D, there's so many staple classics. Patina from Stila, you need this color. Like, you guys need to run out and get this color. If you were to say, hey, Danny, tell me which color of these I need. There's only seven. I just want one. Girl, get 270 Beige Vintage. Then moving into the Hot Pink. Hot Pink 379 is Yummy Pink. This is for the person that wants that bright neon Barbie pink. It is intense, but summer is around the corner and you guys need a pink like this in your life. Could you imagine this like at the beach? Such a beautiful, beautiful, bright, hot pink shade. So again, Yummy Pink 379. Now if you're like, Danny, listen, uh, not all of us are part clown like you are. That pink is a little much for me. Uh, 378 Pink Power is a really beautiful classic fuchsia slash raspberry color super pretty so this is almost like i don't know a more sophisticated hot pink it's definitely deeper but again if you do one layer it's going to be a really beautiful fuchsia if you layer it again it'll be deeper then we have orange you guys know how i feel about orange lip colors this is intense it is bright it is happy it's amazing it's beautiful i secretly wanted to wear it instead of this one but you guys emerald city um, look at this. Can we talk about this orange color? It is amazing. It is 186 Magic Orange, and everything about this is magic, but it's definitely not for the faint of heart. It's kind of like this one. I could not decide, you guys. Like, isn't this like me in Matte Shaker? It is, right? <laughs> and then we have two more. These are the reds in the collection. We have a more orange base, or warm red this is called ready in five and it's number 189 so this is more of the red orange like the hot red orange color it is a warm orange so you guys know how you have your preference over red lipsticks for me i pick more of a blue based red which is coming this is more of a warm orange so it's going to give you that like red orange finish or look or pigment or color payoff on the lips I mean, I don't shy away from any red, but that's the warm one. This is the blue base red, and this is called Kiss Me Cherie 374. This is going to be the blue based, deeper, almost, 
I don't know, like if you look at the color itself on the applicator, you can see the blue coming through it. That's how much of a cool red it is. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are like me, where you like the matte lip trend, but you want something that is non-drying, it's gonna be healthier for the lips, it has vitamin E, it's gonna have a stain, it's buildable, and you kind of have your say in how much pigment you want to apply to the lips, not to mention the really cute packaging. You might wanna check out the Lanco Matte Shaker liquid lipsticks. Again, they're $22. They're available at Ulta.com or Ulta stores. They're definitely Coffee Break approved, and I will list them and link them in the description box below in the order that I showed them to you guys. If you have tried them already and you are a fan, why don't you let us know in the comment section below. I really love you guys, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this Coffee Break is over. Bye!